And if he doesn't have a teleporter or beam me up, we're gonna win here. Yes! So unless he rolls double threes, we got this guy. I mean, this was a Pine Clone into Go Nuts. One of the many things this deck does. And we got it done. <laughs> Making content for you guys is a full-time job and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're trying an idea. It's Imitator Go Nuts. Now, Go Nuts always has a problem. If you play this on turn three, uh, then you really don't get any value from it. It's a three cost two two. It gets removed. It's terrible. If you wait till turn four, uh, so if you're playing all your cards on turn three, like you're playing a one and a two or something like that, uh, you're not going to have any cards left for after you Go Nuts. Even Go Nuts plus one one drop on turn four is not that powerful so the card that is going to set up the imitator sorry is going to set up the go nuts on turn three is going to be the imitator here's the idea if you play imitator on turn three first of all a decent play can block something it's four health so uh really really difficult for opponents to remove this on turn three then you can play go nuts on turn four which turns the imitator into a second go nuts so first of all the two go nuts themselves will actually just grow just from that because uh, the imitator has turned into a team up and then even if you play just one one more card let's say even just like a shellery so this shellery is already going to be a four one and these two go nuts that you played are going to be five ones which is just an insane amount of stats we are running for team ups running uh the puff shroom which you can even add uh to even more power just for free also running shroom for two uh, i really wanted another sort of win condition another way to justify all of these little team ups that we're running and that is why i'm running pine clone uh, there is some synergy between pine clone and gonots besides for the fact that they go together with the same group of cards pine clone likes having team ups because you know stacked pine clones in a lane is really good uh, but also, once you play Pine Clones and you have, like, a fullish board, uh, you know, sometimes you're kind of not able to do anything, and that's why, uh, at that point, having team-ups in your deck, especially some Go Nuts combo after you Pine Clone, can really add a ton of damage, uh, so you can keep on playing your cards and win, capitalize on your Pine Clone play. Uh, the Imitator can also turn into Jumping Beam, which is like a double bounce, um, you can also even at the end of the day turn into Vlaster Adish Hunter, which by the way does make a team up, so it does trigger Go Nuts, and it is a very good card in itself. It's also a good setup play for Pine Clone. You can play this on three, and then Pine Clone on four is turning this three drop into two three threes teamed up, which is great. Uh, I wanted to maybe add an amphibious, you know, uh, team up like Cat Tail or something like that. It turns out. Um, Chad suggested Lima Pluridon. I think this is good just to have a little more early game options, have an amphibious pine clone. Uh, so Lima Pluridon overall a really good card. Very blast to control the game. And then once you have your imitator uh go nut set up or your pine clone, so playing Brain Anna is gonna be really strong, so they can't use their tricks that turn to remove it, allowing your guys to go face. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump into it. If you think we're going to win 5 out of 8, we'll be lenient today, because it's a Go Nuts deck. 5 out of 8 is a yes, 4 out of 8 is a no, over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. Pine Clone's going to carry the deck? Perhaps. Uh, so tempting to keep Brainana into a Brainstorm, it's usually really good at everything it does. I think we really got to be more disciplined, look for Go Nuts. Um, so this should be fine. We have Imitator, Go Nuts, Shellery. We have a th three. So is this three bad now? Since we have Imitator? Okay, let's look for like a Berry Blast or something else. Or Jumping Bean. Yeah, I don't got a lot going in these first couple of turns. Hopefully the opponent is not spamming Con Man and stuff like that. <sighs> Summoning! Hopefully nothing too crazy here. That's fine. So, pass. 
Well, so spam maybe. Eh, we could have spammed more spore into this. I don't think the two damage is going to make it or break it. By the way, we do look like cycle caps. The opponents are going to be like, because we're playing kind of slow for a setup play around turn four. Um, so it's very likely the opponents are going to be kind of playing around like cycle cap. <laughs> sort of mulliging, mulliging their hands, getting environments. <laughs> you know, like setting up a nebula play so you can cover the environment. Anyway. So this is cool. It's really interesting that we're getting this our first game. We'll put the Gonuts really to face, and then the Shellery wherever will maximize the damage here. Uh, just trying to think ahead to turn five. So we'll either have a Jumping Beam, which should be fine, or we will um, play three plus one. Yeah, I'm likely. So I think I'm really just going to do as much damage to face as possible here. I love how, Look at this play, though, guys. This is legit power here. And the opponent, again, went down to two brains, so probably won't have that much. I mean, we have not 14 damage on the board just like that. He is able to block that, but he's taken nine on the chin, you guys. And we still have a go nuts. Maybe if we get a little team up, we'll actually go for that. Here is a team up. Ah, so this this doesn't really go face here. I would have loved to jumping be in this lane. I'm not really that scared of the um the three six here. It's so sad that the team up is the one dying for the shroom for two. <laughs> like maybe we go rafters here and then shroom for two here. This actually looks pretty good. Uh, we can always jumping bean this. There's really no tricks anytime soon, so... Eh, we know we're blocking. This will proc the block now, and the little pop stream doesn't even die. Kite flyer. That's fine. Leap. Trying to get three attack. Does not get it. Gets overshoot instead. Uh, so rain would be kind of awesome here. Would we even commit rain right now? Let's blow. So we actually have jumping beam blow this turn to bounce two things, which seems pretty strong. Uh, we're low in health, but we definitely have a, a really powerful board here. What would the other option be? Raptors plus... Yeah, it's really hard to see us not going bounce, bounce. It might be bounce. I'll see what the opponent commits there. I guess like. So yep. So it looks like it's just gonna be the one bounce. Uh, I guess in order to maintain lane integrity, uh, it means we're able to play like another minion in lane three next turn, which is awesome. And that's a lot of damage. Could we be successful with imitator go nuts on its very first day? Its very first game. The first time anyone's... I don't know, have you guys ever seen Imitator Gonos before? This might be the first time anyone's ever tried this idea. That's what I love about this game. If you think of something new, it's very likely no one has ever tried it before. Somewhat likely. Okay, not very likely. Very unlikely, but possible. You guys know what I'm saying. <sighs> and we win! <laughs> Easy! Uh, alright, well... We are off to a good start. Give me one second, guys. I just hear... Just a weird humming sound. <laughs> I'll refund the prize of the person who just rede re redeemed that ridiculous deck deck thing. Here, I refunded it. I'm not clicking on that link anyway. 
that link was ridiculous. Uh, so pine clones look good and very blessed. And if he does play cheese cutter, we do have the shoot for two on turn one, which leaves value on the board for the pine clone. Rows are red, vials are blue, fry him up, hates starch lord so much that he makes full lore about him. Exactly, guys. That's the name of the game. Pass. The real name of the game is Pass. Pass till you pass out. It checks out. So! Um, we haven't seen a superpower, so the thing we really gotta play around here is Acid Rain. I wonder if I just shroom for two for that reason. We could go as far as committing celery and the 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 mushrooms here. Okay, I'm gonna call this the half measure because these mushrooms are gonna be really bad if we don't pine clone them. It does sort of project the pine clone play. <laughs> Honestly, this is the acid rain. It's not that bad. Teleport. Please not vampire, please. Okay, she's good. That's fine. So the main thing that could go wrong here is an extinction event. We really have no way of remedying that. So we played another cryo brain. Jeez, so this guy's making six this turn? This isn't fair. Not fair at all. Anyway, um, here goes nothing. <laughs> I'll put this here in case he blocks lane one. For some reason. Rock the block. I don't know. La -dee -da. And now these shelleries, see, they're not really going away. He did have extinction event. So many. There's nothing you can really do about that, though, unfortunately. I guess Teleport Supernova Guard would have been pretty good there, too. Wow, well, get wrecked, Fry. Uh, the cool thing is, again, though, that this board is not dead. I mean, these aren't really team ups. Stop role-playing as Starch Lord. You're not him. You're, you're not him. Goes bats into two damage, which is okay. I'll get Asuka. I wish I had Molecule, man. That would be pretty nice. You got Frenzy, ugh. Eat the cat. Eat the cat. Yeah, that extinction event. Absolutely devastating. Shush! So, um... How do we do this? We go Imitator. This will have three, four, five. And we're so done. <laughs> I mean, we can get this within very blast range. I could also try to go face as hard as I can. We'll do the half measure like this, I guess. This is pretty good. Hopefully he doesn't block. And I don't know what. But yeah, we'll be getting eight damage here. And maybe like a huge Brainana next turn. I guess we're going to always have to Berry Blast the Megasaur, though, right? Zero cost Nibble for real. It gives him not only his Cheese Cutter alive, draws him a card. It gives him a Megasaur Dino Roar as well. That is so rough. Ugh. I mean, we don't have lanes, you know, clear anymore, which is a huge problem. Ow. Here comes the money. Honestly, at this point, I would probably just brain Nana. Okay, we brain Nana and kind of reset this game here a little bit. Huge brain Nana. I don't want this hitting face. He draws and then he makes a. Doesn't make sense. Um, I don't know how we're gonna get back into this game, but. <laughs> Oh my gosh, stop with the free- He had two free nibbles from Cheese Cutter. Are you freaking kidding me? So the rafter lives. Play. That's rough. 
Uh, imitator until Lima's not gonna get it done. No, I need to fairy blast you! Oh, what am I gonna do here? It's devastating. I, I wish I could block this, but the six damage is so I have to imitate her. What am I gonna do? Imitate her jumping me? I don't know how I'm gonna get back to this game. I have no clue. Probably no way. Wow, that uh, parasol zombie really got us. <laughs> the thinking caps. The thinking caps are getting it done. Okay, th I'm gonna call BS right now. This is not like lucky thinking caps. This is just godlike conjures, guys. Every freaking answer he needs. Watch him get something stupid. Okay. Actually stupid. Uh, so we'll take 10. Usually just take lethal damage here. Proc the block. There's no way we're doing 15 here. We can live! <laughs> Guys, here comes the comeback! It doesn't, it's so sad, it doesn't even do damage though. It just jump blocks it. Alright. Uh, I, I think we are, uh... I think it is time to say goodbye. Yes. The time has come. To hit the concede button. My butt hurts after that match. All good, we all good. <laughs> we lose one. Guys, we're one and one, okay? It was just two games. Relax. Yeah, it started with the extinction event. Honestly, without that, we would have been fine that whole game. He would have never been able to to break through our our dudes. All right, so let's. Wow, we have two. Uh, the pine. I mean, maybe we don't do the pine clones because of extinction event. All right, we'll commit to. We'll commit to the imitator go nuts play. Now is when we want to see cheese cutter. I think we'll just play a little slow here. Maybe I'll commit this on two, though. Let's see what it is. There's no real point in holding this anymore. I, think I should have committed on one. There's Extinction Event, in case we get Python. So that's nice. I should run Molecale, obviously. Why am I running Brain Ant or a Molecale? I just feel like Molecale is really anti-synergetic with Go Nuts. If that pops off and then you Molecale it, it just ruins everything. So we'll go with Imitator. So I guess the Shrimp for two will go on heights to play around Acid Rain. We'll port Cyborg. Oh, uh, cool. I could also just go Mush Boom. I think probably, I mean, the extinction event is still really, really bad here. The mushroom probably goes behind whatever it is, and we want it to be in front. This is really awkward. So it's either go nuts, guys. Or go nuts mush boom. Wow, it ended up going to the one on the right because of the imitator. That was kind of screwy. Really wanted my little poison shrimp to be a, on heights here. Honestly, this if this acid drain happens, it's okay. Not a whole lot to play. That in total eclipse, otherwise we should be fine. Uh, really happy not to see... A, uh, another second extinction event. And that also means the pine clones a lot safer. I mean, so we kind of have to do the pine clone now, right? 
Maybe not? We'll do the pine cone later? Alright. It's a lot of damage coming in with the skill nuts here. Eh? Ton of damage. <laughs> the Shroom for two and the Raptors with the Go Nuts a little weird because the stronger card ends up in front. Kind of vulnerable. Rocket? That's an expensive answer to a card that is leaving a ton of value on the board. Do I Pine Clone this board? Probably. Okay, now I definitely do. But yeah, we're getting a lot of damage in. Really happy we kind of capitalized on the Go Nuts. We're getting the shots, getting the damage here. And we have a way to solve this board, so to speak. Jumping Bean could be decent, too, if he plays a big guy. Dude. So, really nice if he passes Pine Clown. <laughs> Pretty damn good. Uh, so, the, I think the Cyborg ends up here. We win this trade anyway, so let's just bury Blast, proc the block, and have two nice juicy shots at his face. Top deck Brain Anna here. I wouldn't mind. Uh, yeah, that is gonna be lethal. Because Acid Rain we win, Summoning we win, and Bats we win. And Evaporate we win. Did he even play Superpower? It was Summoning though, right? I don't remember. All right, boys, we got him. That worked out great. <laughs> I don't want to play against a Morticia anymore. <laughs> the extinction events are haunting me. I have PTSD, guys. Uh, so get rid of this because we're just going for Pine Clown. Not a bad hand. <laughs> so we could put a Shellery on the board. It's probably better just to pass here and we'll commit on. We have more more cards here to Pine Clone than we can play on turn three. I think here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna more spore, and then I'm gonna play one of the Shelleries as a team up with one of them. So the uh it's not too much block meter charge. Then we'll go Shellery, Shroom for two, and Shroom for two, I guess, in the next turn. We'll put like a Shellery behind one of the one of the button shrooms. They didn't have to add button shroom to the game. More sport could just make two puff shrooms. It used to, for those of you playing the game for eight plus years. Was that too OP? I don't think it was too OP. Imagine more spore just made two team ups instead of two one ones, instead of being the most useless superpower ever. Oh, that was the wrong card, so I'm <laughs> glad that didn't play. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so we'll go... We could go extra face, but probably keeping a lane clear is correct. Yeah, so we can actually, like, shroom for two, shroom for two, and then sh celery and pine clone the next turn. Still. These team-ups are cool. We're setting... Oh my gosh, we have an amphibious lane now. This is what I'm talking about right here. So I'm, I'm gonna play all this now. I'm not going to play the Shellery, of course. Uh, we're projecting the Pine Clone so much here, but the good news is, is that there really is not that much Super Brains can do about it. No field clear, no small removal. It's kind of just free. You can play a Beam Me Up here. In lane 2, that would be good. <laughs> that is totally fine. <laughs> the slowest play of 2024. We're actually getting decent damage here. We're hitting him for 2 four times here. So it'll be down to 13, and the Pine Clone is going to be devastating. 
I'll probably just shove the pine clone face too. I don't really. Should I care more about this paparazzi and put pine clone in four? Nah, we need a lane to be able to play a jumping bean or something. We'll play this into the paparazzi later. I love running the Lima though. Like some little amphibious minion for pine clone, it just makes it so much so powerful. <laughs> That's a huge pine clone. That's a seven. I mean, come on! Pine Clone, such a good card. <laughs> he just keeps spamming deadly. This is likely lethal. We should have him down to one health here. And then if the block meter behaves, we'll win. Got him! <laughs> oh my god! Devastating. Huge, man. Huge. Now they're super brains, what I want to see. No extinction event. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta get a Go Nuts or a Pine Clone in our starting hand. I think that is necessary. There it is, though. I'll keep a Berry Blast. What am I keeping it for against super brains, though? Toxic Waste Imp's not even good against this deck. Uh, I'll spam turn one, though, against him, because, again, nothing he can do against Lima Flirt on here, so... We'll get some free magic stonks and free damage on his face. Get through that first block cycle before the, uh... Drone Engineer, Teleportation Zombie... Uh, Pirate, pi or Pirate. Either way, we can either Berry Blast Blow or Shroom for Two Blow. So it's, we're gonna Berry Blast that and play Shroom for Two and set up the Pine Clone here. And, you know, as we draw more cards, like a, the Go Nuts hand that goes on top of the Pine Clones, it will develop. You see? That's weird. There is a world where we go double Shroom for two. I think I'm going to just take this Berry Blast. That, if it's a Swashbuckler, it's pretty harsh. I'm still doing this. It's 4-4. Four, four. We're gonna kind of have to ignore that. Maybe, like, go after the Headstone Carver and then blow the next turn. Something like that. I kind of just want to keep going. Uh, free Magic Beanstalks in our deck. Wouldn't mind to grab a couple of those. Huh? We got Jumping Bean for the next turn. We'll have a lot of plays. Um, I think this is fine. It's a good trade against the Headstone Carver. And even if this is like a flame phase. Uh, it's just a Gravestone Super Brains deck, like a generic one. He's running Drone Engineer, interesting. Uh, so we have, again, a couple of answers to the Swashbuckler, either in Blow. I guess not anymore. But the Jumping Beam will take the 5-5 off the board, so that's awesome. Roar! Kill the Headstone. And proc the block. I feel like we've hit him that many times. Maybe we have. So jumping bean's really strong here. Um, we could go for a greedy play, which would be blow. <sighs> Thinking like a man, this rain is good too. <laughs> really good. I think we're gonna just go safe, jumping bean, and we'll do like a play with go nuts, shroom for two blow, something like that next time. He's gonna go lane two with that and get two gravestones here. Devastating. Wow, that's so much value. Hopefully they're not expensive. Damn, just turn five, Tomb Razor, Super Brain, Super. It's a hell of a play. We're down to five health too. We are not okay right now. Gosh, what is what is gonna be in the box? So we have Imitator Go Nuts, and that's it. So we can Go Nuts somewhere. Shroom for two. Blow Rain, I guess. Looks pretty good. Imitator not getting it done. So three, four, five, six. Really strong play. So, um, yeah. Doesn't really matter where. 
guess this is the more valuable one. Ton of damage coming on his face here too. I, I think I should have maybe cal it is gonna be eight, and it'll be four five plus four, it's actually nine. Um so we theoretically have lethal here. That's a conga, that's fine, especially after this rain. That doesn't really do a lot. It'll like kill the four three maybe in, in front of it. But not super impactful. Tomb Razor, really happy to see that. Deadly. And if he doesn't have a teleporter or beam me up, we're going to win here. Yes! So unless he rolls double threes, we got this guy. I mean, this was a pine clone into Go Nuts. One of the many things this deck does. And we got it done. Yes! Yes! That's the highlight intro. The Gonuts like being this this development after your your lanes are all full of pine clones. I love it. <sighs> eating dogs to eating the cats. Eat the cat. So again, if we have pine clone and small things, we're just gonna get rid of imitator. We're just gonna get rid of pine clone. This is a fine starting hand. Come on, cheese cutter, please. It always happens to me. Uh, all right, so we'll stop. We don't want him using his, you know, bungees efficiently. It's better just to wait. Uh, we definitely want to develop something this turn, though, because we've got a lot of cheese in our hand. Maybe Lima Lima is the play? Probably. There might be a world where we're actually going for turn 5 Pine Clone as well. I didn't play around Extinction Event just now, but he'll 100% play it if he has it in his hand. It's fine. Miss? Yeah. Wow, alright, so <laughs> kind of overestimated this Boogaloo's controlling ability. Since he passed the first couple of turns, I thought he would have a hand of answers, but... I, I I really could just go... I mean, we can set up all three of these for the Pine Clone now. It's pretty good. All right, we'll do that. So we'll go smack, kill this, why not? There, there, there is an option where you can go Raptors there and then do what... I don't know on turn four and then go turn five with the planet. That doesn't make sense. It's fine. And hit, hit, hit. Just trying to think block meter like this will usually fill up his block meter so then he blocks this lane and i don't know really slow play from the opponent we'll just leave this alone we'll pine clone in three here uh pine clone in three actually does mean the raptors are gonna have to go here so unless we get a better play maybe i'll just pine clone in one also getting some stonks i'd like to get one med oh my gosh it's so huge okay we're doing it in three if we get extinction evented right now, I'm gonna be mad. No, he can't. It's never it's never extinction event. Alright, we're going full phase here. Gotta team these up, and I'm not teaming them up into the Jester. That's a really huge pine clone. A seven again, guys. That's how it's done. I mean he could go lane one with that? That's stupid because that dies anyway. It kills one pine clone. I guess it's the same as doing self, right? Okay, it's the same. One pine clone's dead. And one is a three two. But all of a sudden, the opponent's looking down at two health and a dream. Jumping Bean is such a good top deck here. Play Supernova Guard. <laughs> I can dream, can I? All right, goodbye. Yoink. This guy's so done. He's probably like setting up some binary flamenco and it's just too slow. There's nothing you can do to get out of this. Even Extinction Event. I don't think it's enough at this point. He can roll double threes. But then even then, there's still, no, there's still two things hitting him. That's, this is game. The man is dead. Yes! Just infinity. I, I'm not so afraid of the crazy class. Pinecone's pretty good against the crazy. 
Uh, here's the setup. It's very interesting how many times we get these really good starting hands with this deck. I mean, I guess most of the Curvis level are really relying very heavily on Pine Clone or Forget Me Nots. And we've usually gotten one in our starting hand, which is very cool. Pine Clones, <laughs> underrated card. How come people don't play Pine Clone decks anymore? I haven't seen them at all. I, I haven't seen someone play Pine Clone like all year, basically. So, do we do this right now? Yes. The Berry Blast will be playable next turn into Inmate. We're playing on Curve. And there's the Bungie. What's up, Jakey Moon? Oh, that's the bets already! It was 5 and 3. I always underestimate the. <laughs> that's fine. That's a good blow. Huge blow. This really, to conjuring cards, that would have been the end of us. He gets that back in his hand. But we can block it now. Uh, oh, we have to play around Deadly. If we see the space time, do we play around Deadly here? Yeah, that's the bets already. Damn. Five and one. Who would have known? Only 38% are on yes? It's 64 people, so someone bet a lot of fries on that. A ton. Yeah, they just went broke. So, this is, this is really, really tough. Deadly, exactly. A one in four chance is just devastating. Strength also is devastating. All right, so we have to do it here. Yeah, 50% of his superpowers just rock us. We can't, we can't. We have to do this here. So we'll let him conjure a card. Congratulations. You're the Boogaloo? The Knight the Might. GG. Good game. Was your deck a, like a binary star flamenco deck? That was my guess. So we have to just play around, if we're teaming up here, play around, um... One cost rafter, holy crap. So this will go up to four attack, you know what, this is actually fine. This is a devastating play from the opponent, and we are so okay here because of this play. I mean, look at the power of just being able to respond. We do five damage to face, kill space time, kill Raptor. Are you kidding me? No, no! No! And that's what he got from Quasar. Holy crap. Bruh. Devastating. <laughs> Devastating indeed. Uh, I'm just gonna commit this here, I think. I guess that'll go in the fail comp, right? Watch him pull a deadly out of his ass right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the hell? Where did he get that from? <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for all the amazing content you've been creating. Your videos, thank you so much. Compilation ones familiar have been a constant source of joy for me over the past. Thank you so much for the 500 bits and for your kind words. That's so sweet. And reading the rest of the message, trying to. Of no time. Holy moly, with that. Huge help in keeping my spirits up. Your work, work truly brings me a ton of happiness. That's so sweet. Yeah, best brain freeze of all time. So, we're, I mean, we're still okay here. I wonder if we just j just go face now. They, these raptors are... Oh, it's really awkward. This one actually team, turns into a team-up raptor, I think. I gotta make this play. Does this turn into a team-up? Wait, is it a team-up, guys? I'm saying yes. It is. Wait. Wait. But why did it not get a buff? Wait. 
We played this. It triggered two times. Oh no, it was only this one triggered. Oh, so it turns into a not team. Meaning this front one isn't intrinsically a team up card. Because usually the one created happens first, so therefore, I don't know. How did this gravestone happen again? I'm very confused. <laughs> Pine <Pinecloud. laughs> I might actually consider pine cloning here. What happened? Why are there two gravestones on the board? Using crypt on one. Did he have a teleport? Oh, we got like teleport from. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, the the age old question is: Do I pine clone? What was in here again? Guys, help me! I was paying. I wasn't paying attention. I was focusing on the game mechanics. <laughs> I mean, this one dies if we don't play Pine Clone. This is a lot of damage, but it's easily be easily answerable. I think this is right. Okay, usually it'll imitate always copies the second one. Like Imitator Pup sh uh, Shroom for two, it doesn't turn into Shroom for two. It turns into Pup Shroom, so it does turn into the front one. But th the front Raptor, I'll tell you why I didn't trigger the team up. Oh my gosh. What I was gonna say is, <laughs> yes, the front raptor isn't intrinsically team up. It's only circumstantially team up because it's being created in that lane. It's like not real team up. It's like fake team up. So I was trying. To <laughs> Why did we just get teleport stuff? Because we got this from Triple Cage. <laughs> what is? This? What just happened? What is happening in the world right now? All right, I think we're going to just take the L on this game here. It's five and two. Five and two scenario. We got the softball from, tri from not from triplication. From, yeah, from triplication. Oh. Devastating. No! <laughs> secret agent Zamba! Not secret agent Zamba! No! Oh, we lose anyway. <laughs> Wasn't I just writing down a fail? I feel like I'm in the middle of a bunch of things here. Game 7, turn 4 and 5. What happened on turn 4 and 5? I don't even remember anymore. Glad to catch a stream and play against you. Your highlighter got me back into the game. Keep grinding biceps full score. Thank you, Knight the Might. Appreciate it. The highlight comes. Thank you. <laughs> that guy pulled Zombot out of his butt. All right, let's try to win this last one here. Good stream! Great stream! I've done Secret Agent Zomba. I think it's on YouTube somewhere. I think we pulled it off one time. <laughs> like 10 years. Oh, good old Brain Anna, you know? I really like Go Nuts into this dude. We could even do this on turn 3, so maybe we'll look for like... This isn't a bad turn four play. Let's look for like even cheaper. It's jumping beans are not what we needed. I think turn three though, because he doesn't have any bungees or anything. We can get away with this. Can we get some smaller minions? Perfect. It's huge. It's not what we want to see. <sighs> No, no. Beard's majestic. Thanks, guys. I work hard on it. Ow. Ow. What am I gonna do? These jumping beans are breaking me. Oh my gosh. So this will be three and two.
I'll just limit what he can conjure here. <sighs> Play nothing stupid from that buried treasure. The two costs legendary it costs two less. So we take out one. Uh, it's only turn three here. This doesn't feel like turn three right now. So what do we do? I hopefully we'll get just not jumping bean or brain Annie here. That's fine. Surfboard is very cool, because now we have this play. Wow, this is a ridiculous amount of damage. And we'll jumping bean just offensively next turn. This is really, really strong. How much is this now? Nine and ten. This is 19 damage. We could just win right here. I mean, if this is how we win the last name. Oh, come on. All right. We're still getting nine damage, though. So we're barely, like one shot away with the jumping bean in hand. One shot away from victory here. He rolled a three, of course. Of course he rolled a three. I love rain in this deck. Buffing the board, giving these little guys a like, little extra health to work with. It's huge. Ah, that's funny though. That's hilarious. Oh, really? Okay. Here. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> right back in your hands. Get right back in there. <laughs> Looking for like a one drop, but we have two lethals, unless he rolls a three here. Yes! Yes! Did we find a good go nuts deck now? This worked really well. I'll admit I got lucky in how many starting hands I got either a pine clone or a go nuts, which I think was eight out of eight. I mean, it's why you have to run multiple win conditions in the deck. So we had definitely a, luck a lucky night, but. I mean, that was devastating. That was brutal, especially into Super Brains and Huge Giganticus. That's when the magic really happened. <laughs> or we get teleport zombotted somehow. Was that infinity? Oh, that was infinity. Of course it was. Crazy. Does Imitator on a 4 4 because of Onion Rings turn into a 4 4? I'm 99% sure it's not. If it is, I would be so surprised. It just sees what the card is and turns into that card of that name. It doesn't look at its history, what it's been through, you know? I know its stats have changed. It's not a buff, but it doesn't care about what the card... It cares about the card's name. That's how the, the, the imitator works. It doesn't care what it's been through, you know? It doesn't care what its stats are. Nothing like that. Anyway, guys, that was the uh, Imitator Go Nuts deck. Amazing stream, of course, going on YouTube. We had some highlights, some fails, we had everything here. Amazing! Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more PBZ Heroes content, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.